What up, players? All right, guys, what's up and what is glorious? As y'all can see, it is your host, Lemos, Paul Cantu, and I'm back with a brand new video while we're on this quarantine. A lot of you guys have been asking for some art, and I got you guys with it. Now, if you guys want any vintage clothes while you're locked up, check out my website. It's thriftavenvintage.com. It really helps support your boy in times when I can't be hitting these thrifts, okay? For sure. Now, anyways, um, my website is full of clean clothes, but today we have a jersey that is not so clean. It actually has this big old, what appears to be dog urine stain on it. So this thing definitely was pissed on yeah. by an animal or human or I don't even know. There's some type of mystery liquid that is on this jersey. So basically, I've tried washing and getting the stain out, but it's not coming out. So I actually am going to customize the Michael Jordan number 45 return to the bulls jersey so without further ado man let's just hop skip and jump into a quick thrift fix with paul Cantu and a nice little crazy custom on a jordan jersey all right class so the first task was to evaluate this stain and figure out what art we're going to cover it with now i slid some cardboard in between the jersey to create a flawless work surface then I got this nice little, I don't even know, Tupperware paint palette and traced the circle. Oh my God, look at that graphite hula hoop, perfect. perfect. All right, so the paint I used was Angelus Direct. It is made for fabric and leather and the link's in the description. So the first color I started off with was a bright lemon yellow and I started blending in some darker orange because I'm drawing, or I guess painting in this case, a basketball. So as you guys can tell, I started with the light color and I'm radiating to the darker to create a flawless spherical gradient on this bow. That should look like a tangerine, baby. So the last color I got was brick and I used it to create the dark shadow on the ball surface. And my oh my, those balls are looking lovely. <laughs> So here's the ball done, and I was pretty satisfied, but I needed something to tie it in with the jersey, and that would be flames. So I used this number two pencil to draw some flames, incorporating the ball with the bull's arch-like logo and design. Then once again, we rinse, wash, and repeated, got the light colors, and blended them into the darker oranges of the fire, to create this asteroidal basketball collab. Hey, I gotta say, man, my second grade teacher would be proud because I took that color in between the lines lesson to heart on this one. And here are the flames done. All the extra graphite I went back and erased after. But for now, we gotta make this tangerine turn into an actual basketball. So let's draw these lines and get it. The final step was to get out some black paint, a detail brush, implement my steady hand, and just go ahead and outline those puppies, making them look as bold as can be and as smooth as humanly possible. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is the completed jersey. Like, comment, and subscribe. And check out how good this looks on body. 